we think that going forward in the next five, ten years maybe, the role of the internal monitor is going to evolve significantly and not knowing the digital landscape will be the biggest detriment to an internal monitor function. Knowing it and being able to address it, knowing the technology changes and be able to address them and change the way you provide your services or you add the value will be very relevant. Now, one of the role of internal auditors is to add value to the organization. So how do you add value to the organization? And one way you know, is to look at how you can improve organization on the longer term. So by looking at internal control, looking at risk, looking at governance, looking at how you can safeguard the organization from attacks you know, from the third party. So all these becomes critical part of the whole uh, environment. In coming up with this conference, because it's uh, reaching out to governance professionals uh, all, all around the region and so on and so forth, you know, 17 countries in this region, we felt that it's important for them to realise how relevant it is for governance professionals, be it internal auditors, compliance professionals, risk managers, even CEOs or, or board members, to understand the changes in the environment and how they should adapt to the changes in the way they actually run their business or as internal auditors how they actually review uh, control frameworks and governance frameworks in organisations. The reason we chose this topic is uh, largely because at we find that the digitalization in the country as a whole, or digitalization globally, has become a very key uh, aspect of doing business, or even a way of life. Particularly in, in Malaysia, for listed companies particularly, there is a need for an independent objective assessment of the internal control framework, uh, considering risk areas and so on and so forth. And the internal auditor, uh, by definition, is an independent assurance function that reviews the risks associated with the business from an independent perspective and determines whether there's adequate controls, processes, efficiency of decision making in place in those organisations. We have uh, Tan Sri Amrin, uh, who's our former Auditor General. I mean, I don't think he needs any more introduction. Uh, he's going to come and talk to us about the, his story and his perspective on the one MDB audit report, which was penned by him. And we felt that it's very relevant for him to come and talk about how the challenges he faced, the way he got his information, how he actually handled his reporting, which are all relevant to an internal auditor or a governance professional's role in the day-to-day -day running of business. Then we have um, Rafizi. Uh, Rafizi, again, very relevant to the topic on digital. Uh, the fact that he used a lot of big data and analysis, surveys, using uh, in the internet, using the data from the internet and the social media to analyze how he, would, how he felt the results or the outcome of the election would look like. But we felt that it's very relevant for the governance professionals to understand use of data and so on. One MDB is on the on the lips of almost every Malaysian, right? Today, with social media, with the digital uh, penetration that we have, everybody knows about. Again, relevant to this topic as well. So everyone knows about One MDB. Everyone knows from what they've heard. So we thought it's very relevant to bring everyone to perspective to the person who was very very key in uh, the outcomes of his report that penetrated into the data and information that he's seen on one MDB. Many organisations today, if I can make a general comment, may not realise, often realise enough of the threats of cyber security. Uh, they may think that because I have a fully functional IT function, I have you know, all the relevant business continuity programmes in place, I think I should be safe. Sometimes we could be blindsided. So the internal auditor has to be uh, ahead of the game in the sense of being able to address 
or, or identify threats, risk areas and be able to advise management that there could be a threat. So for example, if you have blockchain or robotics, so if robotics handles process automation, do we need an internal auditor to check? Maybe not so relevant in the detail, but we will still probably need an internal auditor to be able to understand how robotics works and to see whether the risk areas in the robotics process is well managed. Or an internal auditor to be able to understand where cybersecurity threats, threats are the biggest so that they can actually focus their attention. First of all, of course, you talk about prevention. How do you prevent somebody you know, attacking your systems? You know, and assuming you, know, you have done all that you could for prevention, then you talk about you know, you know, in case somebody penetrates, how do you detect and then how do you recover from that particular environment?